Hello, I'm so glad that you are with me today. We are going to make some ornaments um, and they will look like this when we're all done. So let's get started. For our colors, we're going to need white, red, and black. And then I also added a little bit of gold for their noses or you could use brown for their noses. But those are our three main colors, our white, red, and black. Okay, so to get started, we are going to use our pencils. And you can either do one gnome or you can do three gnomes. I chose to do three, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So I'm gonna do one gnome right here in the middle. So I'm just gonna do a little circle for his nose. Then I'm gonna to come to the right and do another little circle. And then I'm gonna come over here to the left. I'm gonna do a little, that one's a little bit big, but that's okay. And then if it helps you out, we're going to do a line on each side, kind of right in the middle, right in the middle of the nose. We'll do that to all three of them. On each side, we just need a little line. That's gonna mark the beard. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and just draw out the beard. You don't have to do this. Some people like to just to get them a focus on what they're going to be painting within. Okay, there's one little beard. Let's go do the middle guy's beard. And then the outside's beard. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the hats. And we'll just outline these just to give you guys a shape. It's going to start on the outside of his beard. And for this hat, we're just going to kind of do a squiggly line and then he's going to kind of bend. We'll come from this line. We're going to go up and then bend to meet that one. For the middle hat, we're just going to kind of go straight up. Make it a silly tall hat. And then for this guy over here, he's going to go a little bit up, just a little bend to his hat. Okay. And then for the body, we're going to do a round body. It's going to kind of start in the middle of his beard and then kind of be like an oval. And we'll color this in. It'll look a lot better once we color it in. Then we'll give him some shoes. He's kind of a fat one. I like him. And then same thing over here. We'll make it a little bit longer than the beard. And then we'll give him some shoes. Not to be perfect because again, we're going to color that in. And then right here for his body. Oops, I kind of want to make him a little bit more plump. And then let's go ahead and give that guy some shoes. Perfect. So now let's get to the paint. I'm going to be using a littler brush. And we're going to start with, let's go ahead and start with our red. Okay, so I'm just going to get a little bit of red on there. We'll start with our hat first. So we're gonna go around the nose and then just stay. It's okay if you go out of the, the pencil marks because they're not gonna show. Okay, same thing, go around his nose, stay on that line, up, I need a little bit more paint. And this guy, around the nose. Okay, so feel free to take your time, pause the video. If I'm going too fast for you. Okay, so 
so far. Our little gnomes should look like that. Now, since we're working with red, let's go ahead and do our shape to our body. And this time, since it's just pencil, it's okay if we go over that beard because we have the general shape of what we want our beard to look like. And we'll go over it with white and the pencil won't even show up. body. Again, I'm not worried that I'm going out of the lines right there because I'm going to cover it with white once I do his beard. There we go. Keep that kind of oval shape to him. Let's do our third one. So that's what we should look like right now. Again, don't worry that it went over and that kind of looks messed up. We're gonna go over it with white. But I wanna go ahead and let that red dry. So let's go and we're gonna rinse our brushes out and we're gonna now work with black. Just to give that a little bit of time to, to dry. We don't need much with black. We're gonna do his, his little feet down here with black. So mine's kind of coming off the edge there and that's all right. toe shape. I'm going to flat our sole to the shoe. Here's our rounder toe shape. Okay, and then let's do our third little guy shoe. This side's gonna come off too, that's alright. <laughs> They're looking cute. So let's go ahead and rinse our brushes. We're gonna work with white now. So when we work with the white, we're gonna go around the nose. Helps you to remember, just go ahead and draw a line like that. And then we're going to work within the shape that we kind of already drew that we see outlined. We're going to outline his beard in white, so don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like you wanted it. Or if it blends with the red, don't worry about that. We're going to outline his beard all in black. really looking for that general shape. Nice fluffy beard. We probably have to let that dry before we outline it in black, but that's kind of what it should look like. Now let's do the middle beard. Again, go around the nose first, so that's gonna help you to remember kind of where that nose is. 
I drew that line so you know not to cover up the nose. Also, you can leave the nose the color of the wood too if you don't want to color in the nose. kind of spreading that white around a little bit so I don't have big clumps. You don't want big clumps of paint, otherwise it takes forever to dry. He wants some pieces in his beard longer than the others. He's a scraggly old gnome. Okay, let's do the last one. Again, around the nose, keep that. We know where we're, what we're painting in front of. Spread my white around so I don't have clumps. So that's what it should look like right now. I would recommend letting you guys let it dry before you add the black, but since I'm filming this, I'm gonna go ahead and add my black right now just so you guys can see what it looks like and then you can add your black later. I'm gonna use black paint, but you can use black Sharpie or whatever you prefer. So I'm gonna put this first hat and again, pick whatever design you want. These are just ones that I'm showing you. Do dots for his hat. For this little guy, we are going to do lines. Put some more black. My paint's still wet, so I'm just trying to be really careful here. The outline is just really going to keep that shape of the beard. You might find that you want to outline your whole gnome. That's totally fine too. Fun thing about art is you're the artist. Rinse my brush. And you can leave it as that, or like I said earlier, you can go ahead and color in each of their noses with whatever, whatever color you would like. I used gold. You can use a brown color. 
pink color. Maybe they have pink noses from being cold. And then one more. You can also add with your white little dots. Maybe it's snowing. So what I'm going to add just for fun is some thicker snow down here. Voila! There's our ornament. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for letting me walk you through that. Bye.